What is the economy of Kenya in the scheme of things at $60 billion or Burundi or Togo? Perhaps the advertisement budget of Coca-Cola is bigger than the budget of all East African countries combined. Part of the reason why Africa cannot compete is because Africa is weak. And we are weak because we are divided into 55 odd countries created in Berlin. We are weak because we are divided. And we are divided by our erstwhile colonizers. Africa must unite. The question is, what must you do within your systems in the political arena to begin to energize processes? One must ask, for example, here in the East African region, what are we doing to ensure that in this region we think as one? I fly from Nairobi one hour, five minutes, and I now have to grapple with Tanzanian shilling. My Kenyan shilling becomes suddenly useless. I leave Tanzania, I go to Burundi, I grapple with the Burundian franc. I leave Burundi, I grapple with the French, with, with the Rwandese franc. I go to Uganda, I'm grappling with the Ugandan shilling. I move upstairs, I'm dealing with the pound. I move to Angola, I'm dealing with the Kwanzaa. 55, almost 50 currency, which are effectively useless. Because even the leaders don't believe in them. When the Sudanese head of state is arrested and they search his house, you don't find the Sudanese pound. You find the American dollar and you find the euro. We also don't have faith in our own currencies and our currencies are going to remain weak as long as we are not united. So in the East African region, what can we do? I travel and I get to Julius Kambarage International Airport and I'm told very politely as is the culture in Tanzania. There is a form we are going here. And I obey. But should I, after flying for one hour, five minutes, an American will fly from Boston in Massachusetts to Auckland in California six hours later, no forms filled, no, uh, no yellow fever certificate, no passport, no new telephone number. The country works. Here, I'm now in 255, having migrated from 254. I'm dealing with Tigo, and even Tigo is not Tanzania. I'm dealing with Airtel, even Airtel is not Tanzania. I'm dealing with Vodafone. We own nothing. Africa's richest man, Nigerian billionaire Aliko Dangote. It's easier for me to take my cement into Republic of Benin than yeah. going to Lagos. Even though I'm near... I mean, yeah, we, we, have been, we have been talking about integration and all this stuff, and it's not happening on the ground. You know, they have done this African Union passports. Passports, yes. yes. Because if you now see my passports, I carry six to seven passports because of visas. Okay, and even though I'm an investor, but I need uh, visas in almost 38 countries out of 55 or so. Now, they have issued us with the African Union passport, about a few of us. Addis Ababa at the African okay. Union. So I've got one. But let me tell you this, the one that I have um, I went to South Africa quite okay, and uh, I think you the carry, new... carrying a Nigerian passport or South African passport? No, 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 carrying African Union passport. African Union passport. Yes, but this same African Union passport, you know, I'm sorry, you know, since uh, we're all talking very openly, but I was invited by the president of Angola to come and, uh, you know, see him. And, uh, you know, I had to go. Normally, I don't travel much during fasting period, but I went. And uh, when I went there, I had to be given a visa on African Union passport. <laughs> if we are East Africa, we can begin to own things. When we begin to negotiate as East Africa and we negotiate with the EU, we begin to make sense to them.
But if we are alone, oh, you know, somebody was telling me that African economies are growing. And I told them, yes, yes, they are growing. But no matter how fast a goat grows, it can only be a fat goat, it can't be a cow. So what we must do is that we must combine all these little goats into a big elephant and we'll begin to make sense. Kwame Nukuruma, may he rest in peace. How relevant you are 56 years ago today.